Blinken arrives here tonight, and tomorrow he will be meeting Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan. Now, I think uh, Blinken will be sounding Fidan out on what U.S. proposals to alleviate the suffering in Gaza will be acceptable to Muslim nations across the world. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who is close uh, to Hakan Fidan, uh, Hakan Fidan knows Erdogan's thinking exactly, is regarded as a leader of the Muslim world. Uh, you know, yesterday in Jordan, Blinken heard from uh, Arab states such as Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and uh, the Jordan uh, and uh, the Emirates um, that the Arab states want an immediate ceasefire. He'll be hearing the same from Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian Authority leader, today. Uh, however, Israel has rejected that saying that a ceasefire will allow Hamas to regroup and it wants to destroy Hamas. So Blinken is proposing uh, a humanitarian pause. Uh, the Israeli prime minister has rejected that too. But that might not be Israel's last word on the issue. America has tremendous leverage over Israel. It supplies Israel with military aid and with economic aid. And world pressure is mounting. And there may come a point where Israel finds it has to listen.